In this video, we continue talking about different aspects of creating a video, and we are going to talk about text. Click on this icon here, and it opens up panel with different fonts. Some of them Doodly provide, some of them I uploaded myself. In this video, also, I will show you how you can search for new fonts and how you can upload them to Doodly. Let's go and start with basics. So first of all, how you can bring the text to the scene is the same as with characters or props. You can just choose what you want. Let's say I'm going to use this font. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab it and bring it to the first scene. Then double click and let's type something. I'm just going to write hello and click done. So now you want to size your text, make it bigger, smaller. You have these little dots at the corner of the writing. So what you need to do, you hover over the dot and they change to this double arrow and you click on them and you maximize them or minimize them. So if I want to make it bigger, this is I'm just moving it down. I'm just going to grab one of them and make it as big as I want it to be. I just want one sign for my first scene, so I want it rather to be bigger. And I place it somewhere in the middle. If I want to be sure that it's in the middle, I always can use grid and it gives me some sense of location on the scene. So I'm going to place it on this line and make it somewhere in the middle. So now what you can do with the text. So let's go to first icon here, which is asset settings. Click on it. And at the very top, you have the name of the font that you're using. So if you forget which font you used, you can go to asset settings and just read it on the top. It will remind you what kind of font you are using. Another thing is we have these coordinates. We already talked about them. This is basically location of the font on your scene. So X is 156, Y is 12. Also notice when you click on it and when you move it, on the upper left corner, you also have those coordinates and they change. So it's very easy to find the, the spot where you want it to be. Let's say I want it to be 150 and 20, 22. We can double check it is 150 and 22. So if I want the same hello to be at the same location in my next scene, so what I do, I just click and I write hello. And I want it to be at 115, 22, so I can just keep moving it till I find 150 and 22. It's a little bit tricky. Okay, 150 and 22. Okay, I think I got it. You can always go to asset setting and change it there. Another important asset is font size. This one is 217 and on our second scene 219. So we did not get exactly the same size. So what you need to do, 217, you just need to change the font size in my second scene. Now they will be exactly the same size. You can also notice when you look at them that they are not exactly the same font. The one is bold this one is bold so how you can change it easily so that you don't have to delete it and do it again so i'm going to show you easy trick so you see this one is bold so let's change the first one to bold but before let's just check if, if that's the case so what you need to do you you go to asset settings and this one is regular and the second it will be semi bold so you see that they are a little bit different in the first one which is not semi bold i want to make it semi bold as well so what i do i just grab this font and i just hover over my text and let it go 
and then it's going to ask me if I want to replace the font and I click yes and it changes automatically. It's very simple. Now we have color. We can change color of the letters. Let's say I would like hello to be in red color. So I can go to this color picker and in this color bar, I am in the red zone. You can go to any shade you like, any color you like. So if I want red, I can choose from the standard color and just click on this red color, or I can go to this color picker and choose as light or as dark as I want it to be. And the color that it will be, you can see under color or here at this corner of this bar. The number for the color is this one. So I'm going to apply, click apply. And now my hello is in red color. Let's go to my second scene and let's change each letter to different color. So what I need to do, I need to do double click and here I can highlight each letter, go to this color palette and I'm going to just choose from those standard colors. So I change, change H to red. E I'm going to make it light blue. Then we have L's. See, I made a mistake. The letters got all mixed up. So what you need to do, you just go one step back, click this arrow here and they go one step back. So it's easy to, to fix it. Then I highlight L's and I will make them orange. My last letter O will be green. Now I click done and each letter is different color. You can choose how you want the letter to enter the animation. We have by drawing or better say writing and it's for one second and half. At the moment I can make it longer so it will take a long time but we do not want our viewers to be bored. If it's a short word we don't want it to last very long. So I am going to leave it at one and a half seconds and click apply. Here, when I preview the scene, right click on the scene preview, I can see how the writing happens. It takes one and a half seconds. In this video settings here, you can choose hand that you want to use for your video. You can choose right-handed or left-handed. You can choose a cartoon hand here, 2D or even 3D. So let's go back to real hands and right-handed. And I'm going to choose this hand here. I don't want any scene transitioning, so I am going to keep X and I'm going to click apply. Now we can preview our video. What I want to do also, I want to give it some time before it starts writing. So let's let's see how it looks if I give it a delay of one second. And the same in my second scene, I am going to give it delay one second. So you can preview. You have some time before the text enters the scene. And then you have writing done. If you want just the title to appear, you don't want it to be written, you choose none. So it automatically changed to zero. Click apply. And what happens is the title just appears. And I want it to appear after one second. If I want it to come with the scene, I change it to zero. And hello will just appear with the scene. Another interesting feature you, you can do is when you have drawing or writing, you can also choose a sound that accompanies the writing. So let's go and see a sound that we can use with hello. You can hear those sounds by clicking on these blue icons here.
I'm going to use I'm going to use this boing sound and it will repeat once. You can put as many repeats as fits under three seconds. So you see, I can have it three times, no more than that. So I'm going to change it back to one and click apply. Maybe you want it to be more than once because writing takes three seconds. So let's change the writing to be faster and have it only for one and a half seconds. And also at the moment exit is set for none. It just ends with the scene. We can also choose erasing mode, which at the moment is three seconds, which is quite a long for just one word hello. We can change it to one and a half second as well. Click apply and let's preview the video. I'm going to bring a picture to our scene. So let's let me go and search for sun. And I'm going to bring this sun to our video. And at the moment, sun is in front of the letters. So if I want hello to be in front of the sun, you can bring it forward by clicking this icon. Or if you wanted to send it backward, you click this icon here. This one is if we decide that we do not want this text here anymore, we can just delete it by clicking this button. So let's go and change this sun color if you have a doodly rainbow option. I'm going to explain to you what opacity does. At the moment, we have opacity 100. Opacity means how transparent the letters are. At the moment, they are not transparent. You cannot see this through them. If I change opacity to 30% and click apply, they, the letters will become lighter. If I change it to, let's say, 15%, you can see the, through the letters. Sometimes this opacity is good to use for for logo or something that is consistent in every scene, but it's not very visible. It's mostly like in the background. I'm going to change it back to 100. And now we can go and learn how we can upload new fonts to Dodoli. Let's go to google.com, type royalty-free fonts. And you can see there are many websites that they have fonts for commercial use. It's very important that you are uploading a fonts that is for commercial use because you cannot monetize those videos if you are trying to use the videos for YouTube or for other commercial use. If you are using it only for personal use, let's say you are creating a video just for your family, then it will be specified that those fonts are for personal use. But we are trying to upload the fonts that we can always use and don't think about it. I'm going to click on this website. It's called Font Space. And it says here, free fonts for commercial use. You can use these fonts for commercial projects. That's right, zero license fees. Enjoy the world's largest collection of commercial use fonts here at Fontspace. So I can just say thank you Fontspace and I can scroll down and check out different fonts that they provide. You can see that they have different style, signature. You can just scroll and find the font that you like the most. Let's say I would like to bring this abstract groovy font to Doodly. So what I need to do, I need to click this download font. And again, you can see it's 100% free. So now I'm going to download it and it comes in zip file, which I want to open. It's under downloads. I'm going to bring it to my desktop. I'm going to open it and you can see it comes with as a TTF, OTF, or as a text. Then I come back to Doodly and I am going to bring this new font 
to Doodly. So I'm going to click plus button and open a new scene. Let's go and write hello with this new font. So what do I need to do? I need to click this plus button. It's going to ask me to browse files. So now we have to find this abstract groovy font. You can bring it as TTF or OTF to Doodly. So I'm going to click this TTF and then I'm going to click open. Here it's very important that you put correct name. So I'm going to call it abstract groovy because this is how it's going to show under the panel. Then let's click continue. And here it is. The first font under the text in Doodly now is abstract groovy. What I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this scene. I'm going to change this font, which is Cairo Sabin Bolt Arabic, to abstract groovy fonts. I'm just going to grab this new font and hover over the title, and I want to replace it. Here it is. Hello. The size is the same as we had 217, and here it is with this new abstract groovy font we have new hello on our last scene now let's go and write something in different language say we would like to create a video in arabic i don't speak arabic what i need to do i need to go to google and translate from english to arabic i type hello in English and I need to translate it to Arabic which means marhaba I believe in Arabic when I go back to Doodly and I take any English font and I want to write this marhaba in Arabic this English font doesn't recognize this writing it does not like recognize these letters what I need to do I need to upload Arabic fonts because my children are learning Arabic, I already have few Arabic fonts here. If I change it to Arabic fonts, it will recognize it. You see, it already understands Arabic because it's an Arabic font and English as well. So I'm going to show you how you can upload Arabic fonts to... We need to go to Google and search for free... Arabic fonts for commercial use. You can check different different sites, especially if you are familiar with the language, you can recognize the letters and choose the writings and handwriting that you like the most. I'm going to open one of the website and see what they offer. When you go to the website, Please check if it's for personal use or commercial and personal use. It's very important because if you want to create a videos for YouTube or any other commercial use, it needs to be allowed to use this font. Here on this website, we can see different Arabic fonts you can scroll down and choose you like the most. I can see that all of them so far are free for commercial use. Choose the one that you like the most. So let's see I like this one it's called Thabit. I'm going to download it. We have a different style of this font as a bold or also not bold. Now I'm going to bring it to Doodly. I click this plus button, click browse files. I'm going to find Thabit and open. Also in title, I would like to write Arabic. So I will remember for the future that this font understands and writes in Arabic. Now I can see that it's in my text panel and I can use it. So let's see if it will recognize Arabic. I copy hello in Arabic, which is marhaba. I paste it here, click done, 
and it does recognize Arabic. Now I just can make it bigger and style it as I want. And there's one more thing how you can bring different fonts, different language to Doodly if you do not have a font. We can go around it a little bit and I will show you the way how I go around it sometimes. So let's say I would like to write hello in Russian and I don't have the font. I don't want to look for the font. I just need one word or sentence. So what I would do, I go and take a screenshot of the word Privet. And I go to Doodly, go under Props, and I'm going to upload this word Privet in Doodly. I'm going to find a screenshot and click Open. What do you need to do? You need to go to Remove background. Remove background is a good website where you can get rid of the background. So I am going to take this screenshot, bring it to this website, download it, bring it to Doodly now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save it on desktop, say hello Russian and remove, which I will know it doesn't have a background. So now we can go back to doodly open a new scene and bring this private without background now let's look for it hello russian remove i did not spell russian correctly but that's okay click open continue and you can see now it's without any shade i'm going to delete those two screenshot from my library because i don't think i will use them in the future press ok so this is another way how you can bring different language to your video if you do not have the fonts but you need to bring one sentence or few words you can just take a screenshot remove the background and bring them to doodly upload them to doodly